guys, it's me Beth. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this week's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys kind of like, I wanna say like a clothing haul, but I didn't just get clothing. I've gotten like skincare, makeup, other things too. So this is kind of just like a collective haul, I guess, just from what I've gotten this past month because it's the time of year where hauls are starting to linger, I guess. So a little disclaimer, I'm not trying to brag in any way possible and I bought most of this with my own money and I got it with like gift cards and stuff like that. And I'm super grateful for everything that I got, so yeah. So first I'll start off with what I got from Hollister. Starting off strong at Hollister, I got this really cute t-shirt, kind of just like this BG vibe kind of shirt. It reminds me of like those cute billabong t-shirts that you like see all over Pinterest. I found this little dupe, as you would say, but it's so cute. I highly recommend this if you like can't get billabong near you or if it's just like sold out online because a lot of like the trending billabong shirts sell them on Tilly's, but like they're never in stock. Also at Hollister, I got this really cute high neck top. It says Lost and Blissed on it. I love like little high neck shirts like this. And as you can see, it's a tiny bit see-through, but it's not that bad. Next, I'm gonna show you guys what I got at American Eagle. I got these really adorable jean shorts, kind of ripped on the end right here and up here. They're called the Curvy 90s Boyfriend Short, and I got them in the size triple zero. I thought I would need a double zero, but they didn't have it. And I tried on triple zero, and it fit perfect, so I guess they ran big. But besides that, I highly recommend those two. And next, I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Target. So Target just came out with like a new swim line, and it's actually really cute, and they have some new swimsuits. And they also came out with some like new terry cloth shorts and i just got a pair of white ones they have this cool design on the side and i got the size extra small they come in lots of different colors too but i just got this just so it match more stuff you know and they're perfect just to like sleep in or just as like a swimsuit cover up <laughs> the last three things that i got at target are swimsuits the first one is this wild fable pink bikini if you know me you know that i love square neck stuff and like ribbed swimsuits and that i love hot pink so when i found this swimsuit i was like obsessed even with like the gold like adjustable things it's just the perfect swimsuit for the summer and it has all my favorite colors and it's my favorite design so i love the swimsuit next i got this blue strapless swimsuit from wild fable 2 it does come with attachable strap it has the little gold adjustable things also which i love but i tried on the straps and it doesn't look the best but if i want to wear the straps i will so i'm just going to keep them just in case and for some reason i couldn't find the bottoms that match so i went in the kids section and i got these like tie-dye-ish bottoms which i tried them on together and it looked really cute i should have got four 14 to 16 because they are a little bit tight but I just bought 10 to 12 because when you swim in swimsuits a lot they stretch out so I am gonna grow but they will stretch out like as I wear and you can just mix and match so if those bottoms like get too small I can just wear this with like these bottoms so that is everything that I got at Target since we're kind of on like the topic of swimsuits I'm gonna show you this cover-up that I have some people stayed with us recently for spring break she gave me this cover-up because it didn't fit her I think she said it was from Walmart but it's really cute it's kind of hard to show on camera but I'll show you when I like try it it's long and it's just like a cool little like dress type of thing. It has like one button to like button it up. I don't know if they sell anymore. I don't know how long ago they got it, but yeah. The last piece of clothing that I got is from Ross actually. It was actually like a great steal. It was like $6, so I was like, oh my gosh. It's this like seamless tank top. It's actually kind of like the one I'm wearing right now. And it is actually so cute. I've been looking for like an affordable rib tank top. It's actually not too cropped, which I'm happy about too. But it's from this brand called the Suzette Collection. I don't really know what that is, but they sell it at Ross. I would assume that it's reversible because this side is scoop neck and this side is like V-neck. So that's all the clothes I got and I'm gonna show you one of the like kind of random things I got, I guess. I showed it in my last video, but I got a stick. I actually got it from Dick's Sporting Goods and this is the 30 ounce in the color rose quartz and I am actually obsessed. If you're like debating to just give in and get a Stanley, I would definitely say to do it because I've been using it every day since I've gotten it. It's just like a summer slash spring must have. It's a Stanley, like can't never say no to a Stanley. slash skincare. A few days ago during spring break, I went to Ulta and I got a few things. So I'm gonna show you what I got at Ulta. And today I went to Sephora. So after that, I'll show you guys what I got at Sephora. So first thing I'm super excited about, I got the Touchland hand sanitizer. I've been wanting this for so long to put in my everywhere belt bag and I'm literally obsessed. I got the citrus groove, I think. That's 
Grove. Wait, let me read it. Yeah, I got Citrus Grove. It's super hydrating and I love it so much. And the next few things I got are from e.l.f. because I'm broke and I cannot afford Charlotte Tilbury. Like this video down below if you're an e.l.f. girly because I just love e.l.f. products. So the first thing I got is this Luminous Putty Bronzer. I think I got it in the shade Seaside Shimmer. I'm wearing the bronzer right now and I think it's really good. People have said like it doesn't really blend in that well, but I think it blends in really good. I put my fingernail in it on accident and it got a chip. I would definitely recommend it. And next I got my favorite lip gloss from e.l.f. This is like a refill. I've used it a lot, but like I've gotten like three and they're just so good. And I would say this is like the best clear lip gloss besides Glossier lip gloss. And the last thing I got from e.l.f. is this like clear eyebrow gel kind of thing. It says like one end is for eyebrow gel and one end is for clear mascara. I don't really use clear mascara that much. I use it over like spring and summer, like going to the beach and go to the pool just to like not waste mascara, you know? And I don't really know if there's a difference between the two because to me they look exactly alike as in like the spoolies. This is my first time getting it and trying it and I think it's pretty good. And I've used it on my lashes just like a couple times to try it. It doesn't like make them like feel weird, you know? So that's everything that I got at Ulta. And now I'm gonna show you guys what I got today at Sephora. First, I got some more moisturizer because I ran out of my bubble moisturizer a few days ago. I've never tried this moisturizer before, but I got the Glow Recipe Plum Plump High not gonna try to say that. I got the mini size just to try it. If I really like it, I'm gonna get it in the bigger size. And I think it is so adorable. Like it looks like a little plum and it smells really good too. I tried some of it on my forehead earlier and it did make me break out. So thank goodness. I just think that this is gonna be my long, what's the word? My long-term moisturizer because I've been looking for one. Like I've been trying between like Glossier, Drunk Elephant, Bubble. I'm just trying to see which one's my favorite so far. All of the other ones had like a reason that I didn't really want them to be my moisturizer, but this might be the one. That was really cringy. And the last thing that I got in this haul is some makeup remover. It is the Glossier Milky Oil Waterproof Makeup Remover. I've been wanting this for a pretty long time and I ran out of makeup wipes quite some time ago, but I've just kind of been putting it off because there's been other stuff that I've been wanting to buy. And I was gonna go buy a bomb.com, but the lady said that they were all sold out, so it's kind of sad. And I was like, let me just get a Milky Oil makeup remover because they're actually the exact same price. It has some cotton pads, like for a while, that you like remove your makeup with. So now I have actual makeup remover. So that is everything for this haul. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. There was a lot of clothes, but like, I kind of went through it kind of quick. So sorry if this video is kind of short. And on the other hand, if it doesn't turn out that way, sorry if this video was kind of long. Anyways, either way, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe down below if you want more videos. I post videos every Sunday at 1 p.m., so make sure you don't miss my next one. And I'll see you guys next time.